sir. Sir, a considerable number of militia drones are headed towards your position. Alpha target spotted! Northern sector, Miyagami Island! Batman's overriding control protocol! Payload is exposed. I can use the power winch to trigger a controlled explosion. Well, Batman. Looks like you've been busy. This occupation's over, Slade. You're done. <laughs> you think I care about the militia? Above Gotham. I'm an assassin, Batman. And I came here tonight to do one thing. Then do it. Grand Avenue, Slade. I'll be waiting. Well, welcome back one and all to Batman Arkham Knight. Uh, last time. Grand Avenue. I'm coming for you, Slade. I imagine he's rather aggrieved at your success so far this evening. You'll have to be at your best to beat him. Yeah, I did that. I did the last mine on my own time. I did. He did have unique dialogue, and I did. And I did indeed get what I needed. Oh, I am going to need the Batmobile. I'm a little disappointed that I actually need the Batmobile. Alfred, raise the bridges. He's not getting off this island. Yes, sir, but please be cautious. Scans indicate that Deathstroke's tank has a 360 degree field of vision. He'll be impossible to catch on a word. Bring it on. What every guy who's fought with me and walked away has in common, Batman. I got them next time. Yeah, I'm sure you did. done with this game. This is literally all I've got left to do before nightfall. Taking a hit. Diverting two cobras now. Yeah, please do. I can just deal with just it once you well. There it comes. 
Then I can take Deathstroke in and be done with this shit. You can't hide forever! Bit, yeah. Damn minute, you fucking asshole. Shame about the car. I would have kept it when I was finished with you. Yeah, I'm sure. Drone offline. Sending a Cobra to support. Four Cobras remaining. That car is gonna be your casket. Yes, yes, I'm very afraid. I'm actually very annoyed right now. You're weak, Batman. So is the car. See, that's the shit there that I'm talking about. Yeah, 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 I'm sure. You're weak, Batman. So was the car. Fucking shut up. All this because I just have to 100% the game. I've already dedicated myself to getting this fucker, so I will. What the hell? This is actually irritating. What the hell was that? He just shows up on top of me. No one escapes me. Cobra offline. I've got support nearby. I'm sending it in. 
Yeah, you do my that. Unit's still under my command. Just a matter of time before I find you, Dark Knight. God damn it. Oh, that's even better. That's even fucking better. Find a good place to hide. I'm coming. That was it. Just going for face was it. Really? Just going for face. That was it. Going well, going for his face was was the way to do it. Shouldn't have dropped it. If you were any kind of man, pull the car over and finish this proper. You had your chance. It's over. I'll kill you, Batman. Then sure you, you will. Hope someone puts up the bounty. Oh, this fairy man doesn't need payment anymore. I'll deliver you for free. Uh huh. Sure. Move it, Slade. <laughs> you call this a prison? You think it's wise to put me in here with all these lesser warriors? You might not have any prisoners left when you return. Not my problem. Alfred. The city's safe. Excellent work, sir. Gotham's villainous contingent has been brought to task yet again. You should be immensely proud of your achievements. The city is forever in your debt. It's time for nightfall. Everything is in place, sir. The Batwing is on its way to the GC. Dark allegiances. And that's the end of it. Now then, before I do that. There's a couple more character bios to go over. Thomas and Martha Wayne, physician and philanthropist in Gotham City. With blue eyes, brown and light brown hair, 6'2 and 5'10, 195 and 140. First appearance was in Detective Comics number 33, November of 1939. Heir to the Wayne family fortune, Thomas Wayne also inherited the family sense of duty toward the city of Gotham. Unlike earlier Wayne, however, Thomas was adamant in his pursuit of a career of his own. Working as a surgeon at the Gotham General Hospital, Martha Wayne administered the Wayne family charities and foundations in his stead, spearheading campaigns to solve Gotham's homelessness and poverty problems. Their joint murder behind Gotham's Monarch Theater shocked Gotham, scarred young Bruce Wayne, It would eventually lead to the formation of his Batman identity. Vicky Vale, an investigative journalist out of Gotham City with blue eyes and blonde hair, five foot seven and a whopping 121 pounds. Her first appearance was in Batman number 49, October and November, depending on where I guess, of 1948. Investigative reporter Vicky Vale got her start at the Gotham City Gazette, where she quickly rose to fame due to her unwavering commitment to rooting out the ugly truths behind Gotham's corruption and poverty. 
after her frontline news reporting style almost led to her becoming a direct victim of Hugo Strange and Arkham City conspiracy, Vale was relentless in bringing all living conspirators to, in the schemes to justice. Undaunted by her near-death experience, Vale refrains, remains fearlessly dedicated to her work and committed to the people of Gotham. And last, but certainly not least, the Red Hood. Jason Todd, a vigilante out of Gotham City, with blue eyes and black hair, at six feet tall and 200 pounds. First appearance was in Batman number 635, February of 2005. Since vanquishing the Arkham Knight persona, Todd has was able to lay his vengeance against Batman to rest and begin to heal the damage that was inflicted on him in Arkham Asylum. It was during this recovery that the Red Hood was born. Now, while he was once again aligned with his former mentor in wanting to rid Gotham of his criminal contingent, Todd's willingness to kill will forever keep them at odds. It's done. Gotham is safe. Thank you, Bruce. For everything. Goodbye, Jim. Vicky Vale for GCN reporting live outside Wayne Manor following the dramatic unmasking of billionaire playboy Bruce Wayne. No sense hiding anymore. That's him. Are you still rolling? Are you sure you want to do this, Master Bruce? I've got to. It's the only way to protect them. Very well. We just saw Bruce Wayne, now known to be the masked vigilante Batman, enter his home, refusing to come. This is how it happened. This is how the Batman died. And that was Arkham Knight. A friend once told me that criminals are a cowardly and superstitious lot. That the only way to beat them was to give them something to be scared of. I understand now. As his world grew darker, so did ours. When his war ended, our lives could begin again. He set us free to live, to love. There was an inquest, of course, hundreds of suspects. Who killed Bruce Wayne? 
I guess we'll never know for sure. So what's next? Criminals are a cowardly and superstitious lot. What happens when they have nothing to be scared of? Who will protect Gotham now that the Batman is dead? Hey. Whoa, whoa, whoa! No one's coming, lady. Take his wallet. Hey, freak! Maybe you missed the news! Batman's dead! That look don't scare us no more. What the hell? And that was Arkham Knight. So, my thoughts of it are, it's pretty good. In fact, in terms of raw gameplay alone, I would say it's my favorite of the Arkham Trilogy. I just said that, and I don't regret it. It does have some shortcomings, particularly its story. Scarecrow's not particularly that interesting of a villain, despite the grand scale. And then... There's the elephant in the room. Jason Todd is the Arkham Knight, and boy do I have some opinions about this. I like Jason Todd as a character. I like the Red Hood as a vigilante. But the problem why I don't like Ar Jason Todd as the Arkham Knight is because Jason Todd is never established in the Arkham series. Ever. You want to put Jason Todd's Red Hood in Arkham, you should have established him earlier in the game. Put him in Arkham City, running around putting bullets in criminals' head and have him tracking down Victor's ass. Because, you know, he's a deranged, psychopathic serial killer with a fetish for stabbing people. And Jason Todd running around putting bullets in people, it still goes in line with Hugo Strange's Protocol 10, or Protocol 9, or whatever the fuck it was called. But no, Jason was never established in this series until now. And I don't like his introduction, because he's supposed you expect him to be this long-standing character, it's built like a long-standing character, in the context of the comics he's a long-standing character, but he's not a long-standing character in Arkham. This can work, but he needs to be earlierly, needs to be established earlier in the game, earlier in its franchise. Like I said, introducing him in Arkham City, then having him play a role in Arkham Knight, not as the Arkham Knight, keep him as his Red Hood persona. Okay. Have him play as his Arkham Knight persona, his Red Hood persona, and Hush, Thomas Elliot, is Hush. Because that was the original idea. Thomas Elliot was supposed to be Hush, was supposed to be the Arkham Knight. But they threw it out the window to capture him on the nostalgia for Under the Red Hood. And I think Under the Red Hood's a great film. It's a best animated Batman movie. But I don't like the fact that our Jason Todd's the Arkham Knight. It doesn't work. It doesn't fit. He was never established in this franchise. But overall, I think it's a pretty solid game. One hiccup is not enough for me to hate this game. People complain about the Batmobile. I like the Batmobile. I think the Batmobile's fun. Do the missions with it drag out a little too long? Yes! I don't deny they drag out a little bit too long. But at the end of the day, they are still fun game. It's still fun to play with. It's still fun to work with. I like the fact that Riddler wasn't an obnoxious cockwaffle through this one. I mean, he was still an obnoxious cockwaffle, but I didn't have to go get 400 fucking trophies. I just had to get 250, 243 
bullshit and it was easy enough to do in my spare time, in my free time. Batman Arkham Videos has wonderful guides on it, use them. I liked the DLC. And I've still got more DLC to cover. I've got to do a few bonus chapters and some racetracks. But overall, that's really all I have to say about Arkham Knight. I think it's a really good game. I think it's a fantastic game. But it's got some shortcomings, like Jason Todd being the Arkham Knight. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna let Joker serenade you as this plays out. I'm the Dark Seraph signing off. Ha, ha, ha.